Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. Today, cheesesteak hoagie. You know, to make a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, you only need just a few ingredients, and it's real easy to do. Today, we're taking the guesswork out of it. I found this in the frozen section at Walmart. John Soul's beef steak, pre-cooked, pre-seasoned. All you've got to do is warm it up. It's really a delicious product. Throw it between some buns, and you've got a fantastic Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Stick around. First, I just want to set my Blackstone on high to begin with. I'll reduce it down to about medium once that heats up. Use my Blackstone cutting board. You can put it right on that hot griddle. I'm going to cut up some green bell pepper into thin strips like you see here. And I'm also going to do that with a sweet onion. That's it. That simple. All right. Hit your griddle with a little bit of oil. Spread that around. And like I said, I've reduced my heat to about medium. Push off those veggies. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It smells Wonderful. Hit the top with just a little bit of oil and a little, some water to create some steam to help them soften a little bit. The full recipe and directions is listed in the description box below this video. Just click that show more button and it'll pull up all that information. Okay, we also want to season this with kosher salt, coarse black pepper. I'm also going to throw on some garlic powder. Stir that around for about five, seven minutes until they soften. Then on that zone of the griddle, we'll turn that down to low push those veggies aside just to keep them warm. The other side is about medium high heat. Hit that with a little oil and let's cook this beef. Well, actually, we're not cooking it, we're just warming it. Like I said, give this product a try. I was surprised at how well it tasted. Only gonna take about four to six minutes to warm that beef through. Then push off the veggies, mix that together. Look at that, it smells amazing and it's pretty too. All right, separate it into two piles. You can get two sandwiches out of one bag of that beef steak. Top it off with provolone cheese. You can also use cheese whiz if you prefer. Squirt a little water around there. Cover that up to help that cheese melt. And look at that ooey gooey cheese. Absolutely wonderful. All right, then throw it between some buns and you've got a easy, delicious Philly cheese steak sandwich. And like I said, you didn't have to do much with the meat, but just warm it up. I hope y'all give that product a try. It really is tasty. I think I paid, I think about six, seven dollars for it. But anyway, hope y'all like this video. And if you're interested in any of the Blackstone products that I used in the video, just click that link down below for Amazon and go get you one. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes. And until next time, bye-bye, y'all.